circumcised. Yep, Christian Jew. And no Although he is a prophet to the right. Gentiles, so, isn't he? So Paul, as you know. So we know Paul was teaching this thing to Jews. Uh -huh. I ask you the same question: Was Paul teaching this thing to Jews? Because you, you didn't. No. Because you didn't give me any context. You said Jews, as in Judaism. What's Billy and I, what do you mean? Uh, well, if, if you don't know that, let me, would you enable me to finish a sentence, do you think? Go on then. Excellent. So there are Jews in general, which is a bloodline and a religious observance sometimes. And there are Jewish Christians to whom Paul is speaking. Well, what's the difference? The difference is some have accepted Christ and have a surety in Galatians, uh, Hebrews 6, 4 to 6 says, if they, those uh, people, and in, I can't think of the verse, but it will come to me. If you try to keep the law as opposed to residing with your faith in Christ, you are severed from Christ and he will avail you nothing. Right, right, right. So that's the massive distinction between the Jews who are going by the old covenant and those who only keep right, the right. commandments of Christ. So when Paul is telling people not to keep the law, who is he speaking to? Christians. I've answered well, you three times. Law. But they're not keeping the law. The Jewish ones are confused well, at this point. The Jewish ones are confused at this point because so Peter... Because they're un they're Paul, telling Gentiles. Paul was an apostle to the Gentiles. Why is he speaking to Jews? He's, because he's uh, he knows more. Like he's a very well-read Jew. Right. So you're saying now he is preaching to the Jews. I'm saying he's preaching to anyone who's in Christ, and he speaks so on the issue. The he Jews. speaks on the issue of whether Jewish Christians need to are observe the diet. Are these Jews he's preaching to following the law? I didn't say he was no, preaching to Jews. Again, you're misrepresenting what I said. They? I said these Christians. Jews he's talking to Christians. Christian Jews these and Gentiles. Gentiles. What? And Gentiles. These Thank Christian you. Jews he's talking to. Yeah. Yeah. Are they you, observing you, the law? Uh, some of them are confused about it, and where, he where warns them from? from the Bible. Show me. Do you know where it is? What, what, what verse are you looking for? Uh, well, I guess when he says, uh, oh, well, when looking, he speaks about the uh, dietary requirements, when he speaks. Galatians, uh, well, me, Hebrews 6, let, 4 to 6. Let, let, Let's go with that. He Hebrews, Hebrews 6. Hebrews. Prove it. Well, who wrote it? Prove it. I asked you a question first, or I, I asked, uh, demanded a, a re oh, okay. like who do you evidence. Who wrote Hebrews? I'm not answering well, you. you, you, you give me evidence. Give me Church evidence. Do you believe Paul wrote it? You know how a debate works. You give a yeah. claim. I ask for evidence. Claim. You made a claim. You said Paul did not write Hebrews. That's your claim. Well, no, unfortunately, no, it's not. Because unfortunately, no, it's not. I'll tell you why it's not. Who else made that claim? Anyone? I'm over here. No, I know you are, but you're like well, you're literally saying well, you didn't. Listen. Listen. Go, go back to the point. Okay. Red if you listen, yeah, I'll you were bringing evidence there. of what Paul said, and you brought a letter from Paul, which, according to church history, isn't written by Paul. Give me that evidence. Give me that evidence. Give me the church which history church? that doesn't write anything that it. says it. Yeah, just Google it. Why, why try and be like? We'll see what church. Yeah. Um, find me definitively. Say. Yeah. Can you remind me who says? Who says? Okay, I won't find Hebrews. Do you believe it is? Can no you find me your evidence it. first? Do you believe it's written by Paul? I, 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 don't, I, I, don't I don't find any evidence that it's not. I don't find evidence that it's not. That's my answer. Do you believe it is? Well, I don't find evidence that it is not. I've answered you. Do you have evidence that it is? I've answered you. Do you have evidence that it is? I can look for something, but I'm not going to be dis I'm not going to be distracted. Because so you you're wrong. Evidence. You're in error. Well, you're trying to, to teach Christianity. We don't know who the Excellent. Is. I'm still trying to answer your first yeah, no, question. Wait, 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 he doesn't want me to answer it. Is it me? Is anyone else witnessing this? Excellent. Okay. I'm so pleased. Right, you stop speaking while you use your Google. 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 I'm not. Okay. I'm giving you, you the are. Bible. You I'm giving you the Holy no, Spirit. You the Holy Spirit no. authored the Bible. The Holy Spirit doesn't exist. Okay. Please don't do that. That's embarrassing. Do That's Spirit embarrassing. It's exist. in the Quran. It doesn't exist. The Holy Spirit Forget is in the, the Quran. Quran. Yeah. Forget the, the Quran. Spirit I'd love to. I'd love then. to. Okay, so no, I can't. It's taking people to hell. No, it won't help me. It'll never help me. Do you want me to call who said that's written by Paul? Yes, please. All right. So this is coming. No, no, no. You want is some evidence. Go for it. The 300 AD is Eusebius in writing about and quoting the very early 100 AD Clement of Alexandria, 150 to 250 AD, he writes. He, Clement, says that the epistle to Hebrews, see, the, history, the epistle to Hebrews is the work of Paul and that he's written to the Hebrews in the Hebrew language. But like Luke translated it carefully and published it for the Greeks and hence the same style of expression is found in the epistle to Hebrews in the Acts written by Luke. You say this church history six fourteen. So so okay. So what you're saying is from you say this is quote. What, what you gave church on, history on, as your evidence, and he's just giving you church second, history. I'm just giving church history. First thing, first thing. If you want to bring the church fathers to the table, we can. No, you did. You did. 
You did. Okay, you did. You well, did. You Please that. stop misrepresenting. It's embarrassing. I asked him. You said to me church history. No, you didn't. Just rewind. Anyone? Press rewind. He said church history. You were bringing evidence of what Paul said, and you brought a letter from Paul, which according to church history, isn't written by Paul. Give me that evidence. You say this claim. What discipline are involved in here? No, no, no. Galatians. I'll make it easy for you. We're doing higher criticism. <laughs> Why are we doing higher criticism? <laughs> Why are we doing higher criticism? You can't even stick to what you said a second ago. Do you know what higher criticism is? Do you know what, like, uh, no, red you? herrings and straw men are? Do you know? Do you? If you? Do you know or not? He's doing a hashim. He doesn't know I mean, what he's, he's saying. <laughs> do you know what higher criticism is? Because you just said, why are we talking about higher criticism? Like, you know Galatians what higher criticism five, is? Four, do you know what higher criticism right. is? Do you know what higher criticism is? Mean, you don't know what the conversation is about because you want to hear it again. Anyway, do you know what higher criticism is? All right. Well, let me explain. So can you refute, you say this is claimed, that Clement uh, 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 okay, said okay, okay. that the Epistle of Paul uh, is written... Okay, there's two things I can do. Oh, there's two written things written I can do. Sorry. There's two things I can do. One, I can demonstrate Eusebius is not a reliable source of information. I can do that, no problem. Okay. Second thing that I doesn't mean that claim itself is unreliable. Well, if, he, if he's reliable, unreliable, how can it's claim it? No, it's not a deep science. Your own scholars like Ibn Abbas who claims that the whole earth is don't underneath an elephant. Don't worry about Ibn Abbas. Don't worry about Islam. I'll say it to you again. I'll Islam. say the two things I'm going to do to you. He's already said forget the Quran. That's the sound bite. Boom. Don't worry about the Quran. Okay. No, no, no. The first thing I'm doing to you. If I can find one thing where he's unreliable, then you're bossy. Not at all. So you do believe that the earth is literally a top. A elephant. Where the Paul was preaching to Do you Jesus. believe in that? Is this this uh, uh, okay. Are you Terry Pratt? I'll say it again to you. Don't the conversation insult him. <laughs> is about whether Paul was preaching something to the There we go. Paul. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. If you're in Christ, there you go. That's his evidence. I've already demonstrated you on camera, we've got it filmed, oh, okay. but I'll you do you not again. know If anyone is in Christ, he is a new I'll creation. Say, I'll say to you again, I'll prove to you right now you don't know what you're talking about. The conversation if you observe the law, you're cursed to two occasions, you don't know what you're talking about. And this will be the third time I'll do it today. Yeah, yeah, saying I don't know what I'm talking about. First thing, you know what higher criticism is? You don't understand why we're talking about What's the point? What is the point? You should chill. The claim is... I don't know what That's funny because to me you like a no. Go away, babe. It's too hot. It's too hot. It's too hot. I read you say this is claiming. Troll someone else. Go and troll someone else. Why are you quoting you say why now, even your brother's you telling you. Why are you quoting you saying this? Because it's early, it's early in the most college. What's that? And the question was, can you show where in is early is that in the early? Let me put you out your misery. Let me where put you out your misery. Says, down. That's let me one. put you out your misery. Hebrews down. wasn't leave written leave him, leave him, leave by Paul. Can you show that you in show early Christians what they're like? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all he can, all he can do is insult. It's embarrassing. Higher criticism doesn't involve ad hominem. I'm just no, throwing it out there. Of course it doesn't. Well, he's going to call me a gnome. What are you yeah, talking about? I mean, but you are a gnome. Yeah. There you go. There you go. He's insulting Terry Pratchett as well. Double standards of Christians. We know that. I didn't hear him say it. There's no double standard in that. I didn't hear him. I didn't hear him. Ad hominem did I use? You just said, I'm going to show these. What are these Christians are like? Because you're inferring that Christian, these Christians are something other than like genuine or understanding. Well, 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 it's quite about arrogant, about but that's just my opinion. You can't, you can't help your own arrogance. I can't help your own pride. Pride and arrogance. That is also ad hoc. That's also ad hoc. Are you mad? Uh, yeah, I know. I know. Have I'm you been let out for the day? <laughs> is it medication yeah, is that, is that, time? Uh, I mean, I'm asking you a question. What argument? You literally just did that. What argument? Darren, you have misrepresented what I've said. You've ignored the scripture. Please do. Please. Okay. First thing, we're dealing with him. No, no. First thing, we're dealing with me and Billy. No, we're not. You and Billy. Deal with all of you. Oh, you let's talk. Him. Let's talk about John 17. Well, let's well then do that first you're while I just don't, don't give, don't care. Let's expose you. No, no, let's go back to the topic. I've got a live let's stream to do, so oh, if you could just ask you, you in, in Christ, happily, in Christ, neither Jew nor Gentile, in Christ. That's the point. We can write a list. You claimed on live. Write a list. No, I don't want to write a list. I have things to do. How can I make my point? I know you're small-minded. Okay, I'll say it again to you. If you be quiet. Do you want to talk about John 17?
73. No, no, let's go back to the topic. Let's talk about John 73. Because you, you want to take the topic. Let's talk about John 73. He's a Jew or Gentile in Christ. No, no. Remember, Hamza, you claimed online. Hamza, 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 pay attention. I know it's hard. I know it's hard. I know you're small minded. How can I make my point? Hamza, I know you're small minded, but pay attention. Okay, I'll say that to you. Pay attention. Can we talk about John 73? Okay. Because you claimed online that John 73 proves that a father alone is no, only God. An excellent job of trying to explain. Which point? He proved that online. Right. Yeah, he said that online. He said that, it, he said that Christianity was debunked. John, John, John. In well, Christ, in Christ there's everywhere. neither Jew nor Gentile. Yes, yes, they are everywhere. Right. More than so two point... Two billion, isn't it? Do you want to go to John 73? Let's demonstrate. No, 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 no. Yeah, we'll let's go, go to John 73. Let's go to John 73 because you've already changed no, the subject. Yet, you ran away from what oh, Kate yeah. said. Oh, okay. So let's go to John 73 right okay. now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. First thing. Let's do that. We're not going to ignore what we just talked about. No, no, let's go to John 73. You're not going to come and hijack the conversation. You literally just run away from Kate. I know you're talking to me. You're going to talk about something else. Can you shut up for five minutes? Yeah, run away from Kate. Okay, let's explain it. So do you want to go back to Kate? Let's explain it out. Do you want to go back to Kate? I know you want to get out of the ring. I know you want to get out of the ring. You want to attack me. I'm going somewhere, apparently. We know that. I'm running off. We know that. I want Dawa, bro. Give us Dawa. Give us Dawa. Prove to me. Can, can Hansa prove that John 73 means that the Father alone is the only God? Can you prove that? Can you prove that? Hamza, all you've done is shout. All you've done is shout. Do you want me to explain? Do you want me to explain? No, it's every time you are interrupting me. Because I can hear you mocking me because I'm not afraid to hear me speak. Why do you assume my motivation? I'll tell you what you've done is shout, Rob. All you've done is shout. Because I'd like a turn. Go on, then. Oh, thank you so much. Okay. In Christ, there is neither Jew nor Gentile, male or female, slave or free. He's still speaking because he doesn't care. The truth is not in him. So, the point of this verse is not to say there are no more Jews, there are no more Gentiles, or there are no more male or females, because obviously we're all not, we're not talking about transgenderism either. Also, he says there's no neither slave nor free, but yet there were slaves and there were free people. But in Christ, he says, meaning hierarchically, there is now no distinction between a Jew and a Gentile in Christ, between a slave and a free man in Christ between a male and a female in Christ. So we don't have to submit ourselves by means of gender or former religion. Christians. Not Jews. <laughs> Anywho, in Christ is the part that he cannot reconcile because he wants the argument to be that Paul is telling Jews, don't be Jews anymore. No, he agrees with me. Billy, do you agree with You that? asked me about all I'm Jews. So well, you've changed. I'm listening to oh, right, so I'm still paying for the crowd. I'm listening to well, Is well, anyone guys, impressed by this? I'm talking to the people I'm talking to you. To. I'm waiting to speak well, about John 73. Anyway, I gave the reputation. He can't. I'm waiting to speak about John 73. Why are you not talking about John 73? This is a big joke to you. But we are standing between life and death. still running away from John 73. We got it on camera as well. I don't. Let me just You're just being very egotistical. Do you have any Very respect for him right just by means of his age? Yeah, you yeah. He's talking to so, you. So the conversation is, is on John 73. Do you want to go to that? Yes. I'm not too Billy. Away from Billy. I'm saying Billy. just what you now. Came. What did he just say? What did he just say? to you. He said we stand between life and death. You didn't hear him because you were too busy over that way. So the too, camera's picked also, it right. up. Too busy listening to him shouting at me. Yeah, you're right. You were shouting. Yeah, because you look like you're shouting. Oh, you were shouting and screaming and shouting. You didn't realise that. You know why? Because you don't shout. We're talking about John 75. You have to shout what you're going. We're talking about John 73. Right, do I, I, I don't shut up for anybody. I don't shut up for anybody. I'm talking to you. I'm saying to you, John 73, you, you claimed in your little online post that I refused the idea of the Trinity. Let him finish and then get well, you haven't stopped talking. That's the, that's the, that's the point I'm making. You're ranting. You tell me the sharp who you want. What are you doing is coping. I didn't realise you're an analyst. You're going to let me speak then. All you're doing is coping. You're going to let me speak. If I let him carry on, can I speak afterwards? That's what I just suggested. So maybe something went into his Right, can I speak now? Brilliant. Okay. Billy out of it. No, oh, Billy, you started this. You started the fight. I want everyone to know that the conversation is on John 73, as I've said before. Ah, so continue. Right, right, right. right, so can I talk again? Yeah, big joke. Stay on topic. Don't go. Right, 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 right. right. First of all, you're speaking to Jonathan. Would you like right. some more? Right. So let's, let's deal with everything. It's on John 73. Okay. No, it's not your agenda. Okay, so it's not on John 73. So he's uh, running away from his own topic. Right, right, right. He claimed in his speak? little short video that John 73 dis disputes 
or a street, the, tree, the, the topic of the Trinity. Oh, on TikTok. He's got yes, on TikTok. Ah, yeah, he's done a little TikTok yeah, yeah, video yeah, yeah. claiming the that the Father yeah, is the yeah, only the God. Can you show that? That's about our conversation. You keep running away from it. Because you don't, want to, you don't want to experience Christians to debunk your stupid claims. Let me deal with this conversation You don't want to experience Christians to debunk your stupid claims. You made your stupid TikTok video. You might as well just finish staking your ass on the video. Because it means nothing anyway. I promise you, I promise you right now. You might as well have done a TikTok video shaking your ass. That would have been more popular than any other video you've ever made. You've not made any video of substance at all. I promise you. Be quiet. <laughs> I promise you right now, I'll deal with this Paul issue and then I'll deal with your 17. All right, all right, all right. That's great. That's great. Go on, hands. Yeah, let him talk, bro. Yeah. Let him talk. Yeah. Go on, hands. Shut up, bro. Can he, he can talk if he wants to. I can rinse all your talk. Do you want to talk? Right. So, so the conversation between you and her, right? Right. So the conversation between me and Kate. Right. Go on. The to no, sorry. Let's let's rewind because it's all on camera from the beginning, so no problem. So the conversation started with Billy. Keep me out of it. And, and the question. No. <laughs> he doesn't respect. You started the fight. I want to hear the gospel. You started the fight. Billy, you started the fight. The good news, the glad tidings. Well, then you want to throw in the towel, don't you? Yeah. I'm going to do the difference in my Billy. Amen. He said, "This my meat is to do the will." Of him that Billy, sent you me to the finish, finish, finish the work finish which he gave me to do. Okay. And when Jesus was on the cross, he said, It is finished. Amen. Not I am finished. It is finished. Okay. The work oh, his God, Father God. had given him to do to put away sin. What does that have to do with the conversation? By the sacrifice of himself. Why is Kate so and excited? You know the truth, praise the You've got it up here, but you don't want it in your heart. Right. Perfect. Yeah. I've I'm said all I'm gonna good say. Man, good man. I preach the right, gospel right, right, that God right, so right, loved right. the world that He gave His only begotten Amen. Son, Amen. that Amen. whosoever Amen. believeth in Him Amen. should not perish Amen. but have everlasting life. Amen. He said to Nicodemus, Amen. He said to Nicodemus, except a man be born again, so he cannot see or enter the kingdom of God. Okay. Nicodemus, the ruler of the Jews, said this. How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? And Jesus said that which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. I make marvel not that I said unto thee, ye must be born again. Amen. And that's what needs to happen to you. Oh, yeah. And to everyone who's not oh, right. That's what I'm preaching, and I've preached it for years. Almost. And I don't take back a word of what I've good said man. to good you. Man. You're a hell-deserving right. sinner. Right. Amen. That's what Tell the Bible him. says. Okay. Okay. We love you. Right, Billy. Yes. Billy. Now he's going, he said that's his final well, okay. word. Well, Billy, just well, for the audience right. of the proud, so right? Preach, preach Me and Billy started yeah. this conversation. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. The I'm, so you're not making any points. Be quiet. Be quiet. Be quiet. You're not making any points. You're not making any points. You're not making any points. I mean, at least make a point. The conversation I had with Billy was about the reliability of Paul. And I asked Billy a question. I said to Billy, was Paul teaching Jews they no longer need to observe the laws of Moses? And Paul and Billy's response was, and Billy's response was, of course he was. Of course he was. So Billy, do you take that back or no. do you stand by it? No. You stand by it. He wasn't stand teaching by all Jews. Good man. Good man. Stand good man. by this. Right, good man. Then Kate came along. Yep. Without and, hearing that. And I asked Kate the same question. Yeah. And she said, no, he wasn't. Not all Jews is what I meant. So Kate I'm had afraid. a dispute with Billy on no, the issue. No, I didn't. I didn't. Then Kate tried to differentiate Christian Jews from Jews. Obviously. And what's Paul the difference? Does. Do Christian Jews observe the law? No. Right, so they're not Jews. They okay. are Jews. They you are don't Jews. know well, what a bloodline is. Why would you tell people? You think you come from Israel, but you don't know what a bloodline is. Christian Jews don't believe the law saves them. No, I speak. don't want to. No. You're not going to let Because you're misrepresenting you my position. Me tell me your position. My position is this. Whomever Paul writes to in the seven churches are Christians. We're not going to talk about Christians. We're not going to talk about Christians. Did you hear what I said? You did yes. it, did you? <laughs> you said Paul was preaching to people in Galatians who were Christians. No, I didn't mention Galatians this time. I said all the seven churches. We can right. presuppose, and we know because he, he tells them they are already in Christ. Whether they started off as a Jew or started off as a Gentile. So whomever is 
like identifies as it were or is a Jew within those audiences is not a Sabbath keeping, non pork eating. They may be because at the beginning there were some discrepancies as to do we keep all of this stuff yeah, and do we right. adopt all the love? Do we keep all this stuff and bring it in graft all these Gentiles? But what Paul and what the Holy Spirit is saying is that if now you are in Christ, you try to keep the law, not for its sake, you can keep it, but if you do it as a way to circumvent Christ's atonement, you're embarrassing. You will be severed from Christ, which is far more serious. And you, you know, maybe you can be brought back to repentance. So that's your position. The way. No, that's the Bible. That's your position. Oh. Yeah. It's too uh, up for this, uh, uh, mate. Uh, uh, okay. So, just so I understand, do you need to tell people who are not observing the law they don't need to observe the law? There's no, no. not about people. You know Why would feel? people be doing it? Why okay. would it be people? Where now? are you talking to? Would you be speaking Jews to Jews who have come to Christ? Who are following the law? If no, it's, it's very specific. If they keep it in order to circumvent Christ's that's atonement, not what it, says. it does. And then right, you hit, you are severed so let's, from let's the law. The if you are one circumcised, second, one second, one second. it says it. I'll explain to you. So what? You, What's this, the verse? This, this, John, verse? John, look, if you want me to read you verse? Galatians five four. Just be quiet. Do you know the verse? I'll have a smash on seventeen. Do you know the verse? I'll destroy you on John seventeen three. Well, we'll see, isn't it? You can go to it. I'll show that Muhammad couldn't even say the things that Jesus said. I'm going to annihilate you. You can do that. Come on, let's do that. Let's do that. And I'll annihilate Muhammad. But I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. If oh, you no, I hate Muhammad. I'm not going to do it if you don't yeah, shut yeah, up. Yeah, Whoa! Oh, well, well, you're, you're going to make me shut Are you going to make me shut Yes. Tonight. You're going to make me shut yes. Go on and make shut me shut Okay. I will not debate you. You're not going to debate me, so you're going to run for what I said. If you're so you're going to run for what I said. You're going to run for what I said. Okay, then run. No, no, no. No, no, no. I'm not going to waste my time with you. Run. If you want to run, you can run. Okay. I'll say it again to you, John. John, John, John. You want to run, innit? John, 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 John. Everybody witness here. I'm happy to debate this guy on John 17. You just said you're going to run. Everybody knows I'm not running. But I have one condition. He just shuts his mouth right now. I'm letting him go. I'm letting him go. That's it. That's the condition. I'm saying, look, you're saying you're going to run, so run. Okay. Make a shout, I don't care. I'm not going to go first, and then we'll show you. Watch that wall, I'll give you your. Talk to Kay, don't talk to Kay. Shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. Are you going to shut your mouth? Why are you being aggressive? Why is the language so like. Speak to your Christian. You're not in a pub. But you're not in a pub. Speak to your Christian. What are you going to do? Talk to you. Yeah, are you going to about being aggressive? Are you going to stop? Should stop I? This double standard? All I can hear is you. All oh, I can hear well, is you. I do have double standards. You know you're a liar. I do have. You know you've got double standards. You're a Christian. The Bible tells me that those in the family. The Bible tells me that those in the family of faith we should give uh, special consideration. But I can't hear him because all I can hear is this white noise. So what well, this did then? Now, Kay took us to the book of Hebrews, yes? Uh, Galatians. No, yeah, Hebrews first, and then you right. started questioning Paul, now, so we'll no, go for Galatians. So you brought Hebrews to the table. I did say Galatians also, but I said there's another verse, I can't remember it, and it is Galatians 5.4. No, but you brought the book of Hebrews. I did initially, yes, you're correct. Yeah, yeah, I, I, you and then you, def well, no, but you deflected. Do you believe me? I'm going to say the Holy Spirit authored the entire Bible, so we don't worry about who had the pen. Let's just stick with a verse because it's in the Bible and it's valid for me. Oh, that doesn't fit in with your argument. I'll tell you what I'll do, Kate. I'll tell you what I'll do, Kate. I'm a such a charitable guy. Are you? I will come to this park often. I'll demolish his 17.3 first. Uh -huh. And then I'll demolish your reliability in the New Testament. No Excellent. Excellent. I don't mind. Excellent. Take, yeah, take that, take that. Take a yeah. ticket. Yeah. Uh, uh, you're an embarrassment. No I've watched you before and it was all quite, quite windy. Yeah. So I'll deal with that claim. Sure. But you won't do it now. You want to start I'm being macho no, 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 and posturing with John. Excellent. Go for it. Then mash my Paul, what you mean the one that Allah verified? You're not mashing anything. You're going to mash, mash, you're gonna mash my 17. Yeah. 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 Are you even here what you're saying? You're not going to mash okay. anything because you're not no, in East okay. London in a park. You don't know anything okay. about the Bible. Okay. You're about to get schooled. Okay. I'm going to educate you. Come on, let's do this. I'm coming back in when you are finished. I'm going to educate you. You're going to smash him. No, you said it first. We can't even get the order. So he's running for me again. We're dealing with you first. No, let's deal with Christ. Keep running. You heard testing the right into the New Testament. Keep running. Mike, Mike, where are you going? Let's stay on point. Let's stay on point. Listen to Let's me, you point. absolute tard. You're Can't we hear point. what I'm saying? Do you speak English? Listen, I'll no. say it again to you. Anyway, so what he's doing <laughs> is saying he's going to smash it. Bye bye. bye, bye, bye Kay. Kay. Do you want to talk about Are you going to deal with it or not? Deal I'm going to deal with what I want to deal with, which is what you first brought up. Let's deal with it then. In Christ, oh, wait, we're going. That, because you said you can't keep up with your own twaddle. You said you're going to smash him first, and you didn't. Anyone who's got a rewind button, please, for the sake of our sanity. He's so loud that there's no way nobody heard it.
I don't. I couldn't well, even care at this witnessed. stage. Everybody witnessed. Excellent. That Christ said, ra- rose I said from the dead. Yeah. Give him his defeat. Yeah. If he shuts up while I deal with you. I know. And then after that, after that, when you were mashing, Rob, when you were mashing, fam. Hear what, fam? When you were mashing him up. What I didn't oh. say was I'll deal with him first. Excellent. I don't know Excellent. Where I come Excellent. From. So I'll deal with you first. Excellent. Do it then. Right, right, right. Jeez. Yeah. Right. So let's deal with yeah, you. Please, now. God. Any time you like, mate. Good boy. Can you feel the temperature? Oh, he's running now. Are you aware? Oh, he's really attention to the crowd. Run. This is obnoxious behaviour. Oh, you're running. You're running. I'm not going to give you the honour of the boy. Because you're not going to school you. are not going to honour your words. This is why you're not saying to me you're going to school you. Mash him. Him. Mash. Mash me apparently. But he's not done it. I'm still with the Bible for at least 30 minutes. In Christ, neither Jew nor Gentile. So can we go to Christ? Because you lost him. Come somewhere quieter. Oi, Darren. Darren. Come somewhere quieter. Is that his name, Darren? Come so- yeah, come somewhere quieter. <laughs> because then you don't oh, have to Darren. be playing it up oh, like a oh, big oh, man. Oh, you're the one oh, talking to the crowd. Because oh, you're not listening to a word. In Jesus, there is neither Jew nor Gentile. You're not talking to me. In Jesus, answer it. Okay. Just answer You're it. You're the one talking to the crowd. Oh. Anyway, well, let me read what I was going to read. Right. This was from 20 minutes ago. Yeah, yeah. Well, we know why it's taking 20 minutes. He said he's going to come to me first. Allegedly, he said he's going to come to me first. But thanks for your input. That's really clarified it. That's what I'm saying. God is the Father. Ask one Muslim here to show me. Because your daughter cannot do it. Your daughter have lost. Christians are reading your scripture to respect your scripture, please. Is that John 7 3? So, this is Galatians 3, 5, 4. All oh. who rely on observing the law are under a curse, for it is written. Curse is everyone who Amen. does not continue to do everything written in the book of the law. Yep. Yes. Clearly, no one is justified before God by the law, because the righteous will live by faith. The law is not based on faith. On the, on the contrary, the man who does these Works. things will live by them. Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law mm-hmm. by becoming a curse us, for the us. the Christians. Yep. It, one second. For it is written. Hot, Rory. Well, Paul's a Jew. Anyway. He's a Christian. He's a Jew. He's a Jewish he's a Christian. Christian. He's a Jew. Jews and ethnicity. You don't know what you're talking about. He's a Jew. <laughs> you're an idiot. How about that? He's a Jewish Christian. You think he hasn't accepted Christ? Saul was a Jew. So just so I understand, was Paul observing the Torah before his visit on the When he was Saul, you mean? He wasn't Paul then. I know, he was Saul of Well then, Saul was a Jew. practicing? Saul. practicing? Uh, the Mosaic law before he went on the road to No one called Paul with that appearance was was appearing that. There was was a man called Saul. Uh, Saul So was Saul now is your question? Yes, Saul was. was Yes, yes. So he was. Big in the Jewish game. Wow. Right, and then after his visitation on the road to Damascus. Yes, he became Paul. He gave up the Mosaic law. He, uh, no, he began refining it to uh, conform his... Thoughts to the image of Christ. Did he give up the Mosaic by the power law? of the Holy Did Spirit? Did he keep the Sabbath after that? Did he keep the dietary laws after that? Did no. He te- no, he didn't. So we know he gave up the law as a Jew. He didn't yes. give it up. It was fulfilled well, in Christ. Uh, okay. I'm quoting right, you the Bible. Please don't yeah, laugh. Don't You're an embarrassment. Qu- I'm going to quote you the Bible. I'm going to quote you your But I'm quoting you it. Why do you rely on it when you quote it, but when I quote it, it's no refutation? Oh, please, do you understand how this works? Yes, sure. I'm thinking. What are you Christ thinking, Bill? Pearls before yeah, yeah, swine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Swine. Okay. Come again and but there's people watching who might learn something. Yeah, there's people watching who might learn something. Okay. Billy's on my That's side. That's not a no, compliment. I'm on your side. You, do you agree with me, Sol Dabra? Just lying for the sake of lying. He's actually a lying as well. I know. Amen. He's on camera. He said, I asked him that same question. But he's talking about within the context. When I walked along, you didn't give me the context. You just said Jews. You don't see a distinction, but now you're drawing a distinction between Saul and Paul. So you're drawing the distinction you pretended not to be able to see. Get to the point, mate. Now get to the point. Get to the point. That's up. Did Paul teach? The question was a very simple one. To the churches. Paul teach Jews they no longer need to observe the The ones law. in the churches he wrote to, yes. Yeah. Te- yeah, he didn't and, write to the, the uh, yes. Sanhedrin. And the he didn't yes. tell the Pharisees the not to. Yes. No, the answer is nuance. There wasn't one type of Jew. There were many types he of Jews. He didn't tell the Jews Pharisees also, don't observe the Lord. Do you not understand what I'm saying? I'm glad you think it's funny. I mean, I've already schooled the guy. You're going to burn. I can hear myself. Yes. I was saying, do you not hear I've not heard yourself at all. 
this whole no lot. one is justified before oh, God by sure. the law. Yeah. Yeah. Because the righteous will live by faith. Yeah. The what book is it? Galatians? So who's he writing to? Let's just double check it, your knowledge. Uh, the foolish Galatians. Okay. And who are they? Are they Jews? A uh, mixture, I'm assuming. Uh, they're Christians, aren't they? All of them are Christians. Well, why would you be telling Christians not to follow the law? Because in the earliest iterations of the seven churches, they were misunderstanding. There were false teachers floating about. You, you, you know of a couple. So, yeah, there were people coming in and they just didn't know because there was no... Um, like uniformity of tradition at that point is it's the earliest inception. Um, right, right, right. So, so they're thinking, so, oh, we have to, hang on a minute, we have to keep our dietary stuff, but these Gentiles coming in and being Christian, do we have to make them Jewish thingies or not? So is Paul speaking to those Jews coming to Christianity? Paul is adamant, this is my answer, Paul is adamant that any Jewish Christians and Gentile Christians need so the Jew, the gentile christians for example they must not be circumcised if it is just blind adherence to the law because that the will make them lose their salvation which is really important don't worry about the gentiles so clearly the jews are already circumcised so anyway mind okay for the jews mindless adherence to the law will not save them and it will sever them these jewish christians i just answered you you have just answered it i mean you're just going back and many times yeah yeah if they keep the law for anything other than don't you understand though? I'll say it again to you. I got you. I got you seven times ago. Were these Jews within the churches carrying on keeping the Mosaic law? Is Paul telling them not to? That's not? No. Great. On you go. Okay, good. Were these Christians, Jewish Christians, before they became Christians, observing Jews? Yeah. Right. So when they became Christians. Well, some of them might not have been. Some of them might have been the diaspora. No, but like, they were part of the Jews. By bloodline, yeah. You were part of the Mosaic law. Yeah, by bloodline. They were yeah. under the covenant, well, yeah. Not, no, because in the Old Testament we see that Jews go away. Under the covenant. I don't know. Oh, right, right, so you don't know. Fair enough. Okay, that's fair enough. Well, because I don't know them individually. Some were out of no, it. No, I'm asking about yeah, yeah. Some okay. were okay. considered okay. Okay. Gentiles okay. by strict Jews. Before Christianity, yep. these Jews who became Christians, yep. were they part of the uh, law? Most likely. Yes, the answer is. No, the answer whether is not yes. They they so now you're going story. with the bloodline, not the observances no, 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 no. that you did earlier. No, no, no. Great, great, great. It's just no, no, the no, definition no. of terms. There are Christians today who say they're Christians and accept gay marriage, for example. What's they're that got? No, 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 no. The point there were people born of the 12 tribes who were non observant. Whether observing Jews is a different story, but the point is this. But that's what you asked me. No, no. I'm talking about for their salvation, these Jews. Yeah, before Jesus. Most likely, but some there's a chance some of them weren't. Oh, what was their means they of were just born Jewish. Before Jesus, what was their means some of, of them may have been agnostic. No, what was their means? Not how what they Ata did. Atonement under the under the law. Right, so they were under the, the law. The ones who were under the law, yeah. All of them were under the law. Go for they? it, go okay, for it, Dow. I ain't got time. No, no, no. That's, we have to establish His name was answer. Bob. He was uh, yeah, about Bob. five foot Wait. two. Wait. I don't know. I just I'm said I don't know them individually. I'm not asking you for individuals. I'm saying to you. Were Jews before Jesus uh, required to observe the law? My, oh yeah, yeah. If they were, they were religiously right. adherent, right. yes, they then were. The same Jews, when they became Christians, they were told by Paul they don't no longer need to observe the law because of what I quoted you about a week ago. Yeah. So you agree with by, no, by giving a new right. covenant, the first. So yeah. can I finish this? By giving a new covenant, the first he renders the first old, and what is old will soon become aged yeah. and obsolete for us. For us in Christ. Right, so we agree now, finally, that Paul was teaching Jews who came Jewish to Christianity. Jewish Christians, excellent. They didn't yeah, need to keep yeah that's all you had to say in the first place, yeah. Okay. Okay. Skiddly widdly. Right, so, so, that, so we've established that now. Right, and what's your point? What did the disciples of Jesus say about this? Uh, there was some discussion initially. What did they say? Well, there was some discussion. What there was some. Dis you you, tell, you tell me, you tell me, tell me. No, you scripture. Tell me. I'm just going to Do you know? Place, man. Get on with your point. You okay. wanted to talk. Uh, uh, okay. Do uh, it. I'll explain, I'll explain where Don't I'm explain, just now. quote no, no, it. Because, no, no, no. When I, was I have to, listen, I need oh, to get a cold in, drink. I need to fair sit enough, in the shade. Enough. So please do. No, no, no. Please do quote the scripture you've had ready all week. All week? Oh, shut up, mate. Please. It's For the past six years. <laughs> anyway, anyway. So oh, that's how long you've been so far away. Okay, well, quote it then. Oh, this is quote the, it then. This is just one away, right, right. You're not a teacher. Quote this, it right. then. Oh, okay. So Paul. Excellent. He's going to quote it. Is asked by the told by the disciples of Jesus. Yep. 
these zealous Jews, zealous for the law in Jerusalem, I've heard yeah. that you've been teaching mm -hmm. that Jews coming to Christ don't need to keep yes, the law. Yes, yes, yes. To show you're not doing that, go with these, these men the now council, and yeah. take the Nazarite vow. Yeah. What's the Nazarite vow? I'm not going to answer any questions till you actually tell me what the, like, what the thing was and the outcome of it. Are you talking about when he was summoned to a council? Oh, okay, the Council of Jerusalem. Are you speaking about on, that? Right. So when he, Paul, Paul comes, right? Obviously, we have the, there's two questions going on here. First thing is, Paul, are you telling Jews they don't need to keep the law? Second thing going on, what do we do with Gentiles who've come to the Christ? So it's the opposite way. It's the opposite so way Hebrews 6, 4 to 6 and Galatians 5, 4 answer Hebrews. those. Don't worry about Hebrews. We don't I know. will worry about Hebrews. Well, the Holy know. Spirit we don't know who offered. Wrote that. Okay. So anyway. You don't know who wrote the Quran. Yeah, you don't know who wrote the Quran. Who writes the wrong? No, he don't. Who sent which which, which one? Don't be silly. Can we see that boy. So now we've come to a position where I think you're willing to believe that Allah gave the Quran, so but now not that. Which, which book? Which Quran? So the question I was asking. There's 37 of them, by the way. So the After burning or before? So the question yeah. I was asking Billy yeah. is this. How do you reconcile Paul teaching something against the teachings of the disciples of Jesus? Okay. They were not teaching otherwise. They said these other Jews are querying what you're saying. If you want to disagree, go and take this vow, that's go to this say. council. You just told me that's what they you said. Didn't hear them. That's, I Did he not just say you. some, they, the disciples came me, to him and said, the Jews, these are the Jews. Oh, I'll explain to you. Shall I explain to you? Oh God. Yes, please. Okay. Now, Any I'm, time I'm, you I'm, like. I'm, 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 Why don't we just go to What do you think I'm standing here for, for you to explain your point? Right. That's so good for you, mate. He can't quote this script. So, so anyway, uh, right. quote, quote John 16, right. 4, mate. Right. I mean, come on. So <laughs> this is what I said. So this is what I'm saying. No, no, I heard what you said. No, you just misquoted what I said. Uh, so you didn't hear? Are oh, you not listening? I don't know which one it is. I am listening to well, you. you. Me. So you're saying the disciples came and said, we've heard you're saying this and we want you to do this. I didn't say that either. So you misquoted me again. I gave you. Do you want me to say it again? That's called a colloquialism, a paraphrasing. Yes, it is. Don't try and teach me English. Why not? Because paraphrasing is exactly what I said. Because I've given you a correct definition and you're embarrassing yourself. I'll say it again to you. Paraphrasing means to take the essence of a quote and give it in your own words. This gentleman knows. Well, this is my English teacher over here. Your brother's telling you shush. Okay, first thing. Do you know what shush means? Yeah. What's that got to do with you? Yes, I am. First thing. You can't hold me. It's not a real Quran. Ali Dawa told me it's in English. It's not real. Yeah, it's not Shush real. Shush now. Can we get back on track? It's English. I'd love to. Okay, oh, I just was walking in. Okay, I understand something. Why didn't you quote the scripture if you wanted, if you were worried about verbatim? Why didn't you quote it? You put your Bible away at that point. Can I say it again? So you paraphrased let and I paraphrased back. Yeah, here's, here's Excellent, so go for it. All right, give me, hold that a minute. Yes, I do. No, I don't want you to teach me anything, mate. Hold me to and they informed of thee that thou teachest all the Jews which are among the Gentiles to forsake Moses, saying that they ought not to circumcise their children, neither to walk after the customs. That's him. You're in act, you no, no, said Acts 21, no, the Council now, of Jerusalem. What you're doing now? What you're doing now is obfuscating. No, that's not Acts 21. You don't care what, Paul, what they're saying to Paul. No, 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 no. You don't care what the disciples I, I are saying to Paul. Answer, answer me. Listen, listen. Answer I, me. Because a minute ago you said, I'm reading the scripture. Don't ago, talk over the scripture. And I'm reading the scripture. Ago, and here you are, I'm reading over it. A minute ago. Help me, Jesus. Yeah, Please help me, Jesus. I said a minute ago, there's two things that needed to be dealt with. One thing was Paul's preaching to Jews, and the second thing is what to do with Gentile converts to Christianity. I said there was two matters. You're quoting the second matter. Do Gentiles... So do you have to choose which order in which I refute you? I haven't got many more one seconds, Dow. Well, if you shut up, I could get on then. Right. No, so I'm people to shut up again. You're right. pathetic. Right. You're, You're embarrassing. Well You're embarrassing. Right. He's not well-mannered. The right. truth right. isn't in him. Right. He's got no interest in integrity right. or being genuine. Why are you involved? Why is he involved? Why are you involved? Why is he because why is he you tried speaking like to him. Why does your face look like He came along and you said, I'll deal with him first or second, whatever. So you were going to deal with him, so that's why he's involved. Listen, if you don't... All right. Oh, Mike, come out to side. If you don't, no, listen, whatever your name is, if you don't get to the point, it's too much. Just please.
please, hey, don't me. keep skirting around. Hey, just get to hey, your hey, point. Hey, hey, Thank you, babe. Here's the difference. When he shouts, I tell him to shut up. Excellent. Yeah. It was him. Tell your no. to shut up. You didn't tell anybody to shut up. You didn't tell anybody to shut up. You shut up as well. Aye, brother. Yeah, yeah, good. You shut up. Tell him to shut up. Yeah, you shut up, brother. I'm asking you. You're spitting, mate. You're spitting, mate. You were told to shut up. I don't know the drill. He just told you, though. Seriously. Oh, wait, you don't know what we're talking about. What are we talking about? Do you know what goes on in this park? Do you, do you want to just sort him out, mate? He's offering him out. You don't think so? Why am I shooting your bike? I'm going to win an M. He's not, 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 not going to attack anyone. He's not going to attack anyone. He's not going to attack anyone. Because he's not going to attack anyone. He's not going to attack anyone. That's what I need to say. Okay, I'll say it again to you. You don't have to. You know what? Don't worry about it. You shut up. You're acting in an aggressive manner. Oh, is it like an offence thing? What is? When you do that to someone, of course it is. Words are not violence. I'm sorry? You Words. swear to somebody, you're asking for something. He didn't square up. He, you're in the way. How could he see through? I didn't square up. I didn't notice because my <laughs> testosterone <laughs> levels are lower. Anyway, anyway, anyway. I didn't square up. You're anyway, standing anyway, like this. Anyhow, anyhow. You're threatened by nothing. Anyway. You literally are threatened by nothing. Yeah. You're Agreed. Clown. Agreed. Nothing. You were literally a clown. Agreed. So you're threatened by nothing. I will in a minute, Bill. I just want to be here. Then I'm not nothing. Well done. Just repeat No, you said you're threatened by nothing. Okay. I'm going to give five minutes. I'm not running anywhere. I'm going to saunter over there in about five minutes because my Jesus wanted me to come here and speak about him and I can't get you can't quote the Bible you want to like paraphrase it you're the one who does paraphrasing excellent when you say we are you schizophrenic Brother, 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 brother. Yeah, nice, nice. Well, Apparently he's one good, but he always says we. He's trying to drive us yeah, all into some place. sort of like a... Hello always says we, but he's one good. Can we get to that? Can we get the spirit in the Quran? I feel like I'm going to faint. I feel uh, we're sick. We're not going to speak about anything. No, 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 not because... Oh, yeah, no, I don't know if you noticed, I'm quite pale. Sorry, Z, but he's running on E, though. You'll get destroyed in the debate. I've got no time for it. Obs obnoxious oh, people. You, you would literally get destroyed if you debated me. That's why I have no time. Excellent. You made your, you made your very so macho you point. Claim, this guy made the claim that he mashed me up on John 73. John, And he John, has John. not done it at all. Yeah, he has done it. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just I know you are, babes. I know. He's trying what he's doing. I'm trying he's to get some sort of his little diet twins. His little diet twins are trying to take I haven't I'm eaten today. I feel quite You're sick. Not They're not them. your people. They're just They're your people. kids. <laughs> Come on. Right. Let's do well, it. You will tell you, but I guarantee you. Look at the Muslim. You the said it, but when he was using you as a hold me back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's argue about the important stuff. I mean, I thought this was about religion, not what happened. Let's get back to the point. Right. So. The, uh, the Council of Jerusalem, there was two points to be discussed. What's the Bible first, reference, please? First thing is what you just quoted. Is what but you stopped me quoting second, it. One second. So, and, and it's amazing, right? You know what's really amazing? Oh, I'll tell you what's amazing. Uh, what's amazing that right? Jesus died for yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll tell you what's really amazing is that the question that the disciples answered is the opposite of what Paul was teaching. And the opposite they of what answered? Saying. He didn't ask them anything. They approached him. No, no, no. no. Listen, listen. I'm listening, that's your problem! I don't even know so what you're talking The question about. you're responding to is that Jews becoming Christians don't need to keep the law. The question that the disciples were discussing at the Council of Jerusalem... So you've asked me one question, I've responded. Now you're bringing a different question no, no, and making no. it as if it's my misunderstanding. I'm explaining what? Acts 21, isn't it? I don't know. No, no, it isn't. It's Acts 15, but he doesn't know anything oh, about oh, the Bible. Okay. That's the thing. So that's why he gets schooled easy on John 73. I might make a TikTok and expose you. So the disciples of Jesus were asked a question. John, Peter, James, Thanks, what do we do about these Gentile Christians? His name's JC. These, these people who are coming to follow Jesus, coming to follow the Christ, but they're not Jews, they're, they're, they're Gentiles. Do they have to keep the observe, observe the laws of Moses? No. Now, this realistically should, it is, it should be a non-question if the idea of following the It would be if you gave it hundred years of Christianity. Okay. So basically the answer to that question by the disciples of Jesus, well, oh, Mohammed didn't keep the mosaic. Yeah, no. Yeah, why the, didn't Mohammed keep the mosaic? The, the, the answer was no. No, no camel why, yeah? isn't allowed. The camel no. is the forbidden. Camel meat. Is that yeah. because I wonder why they, they weren't were under, under the law. law. Mosaic law. Huh? They weren't under the Mosaic law, checked, but who the, the Muslims, laws, which the, the non, which the Gentiles kept around Israel, is the laws that they should observe. So the Noahide laws. What you mean after the flood? You don't understand anyway, anyway, what you're anyway, talking about. The non, the non Jews, the Gentiles. Before the law, there was sin in the world, but no one is accountable. In the time of, oh, don't worry. When are you going to stop? No this? one worries. In the time but we'd love it. Land this plane. That's all you say. That's all you can say. You've been talking for ages. I've had a chat with him. I've got a bottle of water. I've been to the shop and come back. You just want a monologue. 
Darren, you're, Darren, you're misrepresenting you reality. Why don't you go you're over there? there? So then that's go not me, you the cameras and talk to the camera. I already did just because speak. Because all you're doing is monologuing. Who are you to tell me what to do? I'm not your dim, am I? You're the dim. Let's go again from the top, everyone. Well, we have to. Right. Okay. All together now. Yeah. Right, come on. Yeah. Do you want to just leave? Do it, it for, the, the, for the love of Jesus. Do it. Do you, do you want to leave this guy to his own? Your widow Twanky in this scenario. Listen, Twanky. Guess what? I'd love to. I gave you five minutes. Because all he's doing is money. I gave you five minutes. And he's always saying five minutes. Well, if you shut up for five minutes. I have. You know what Hamza? You know what Hamza? You have to do if you need to. Oh yes, I have. Oh yes, I have. Okay, at this point, I, I, I see it's, it's a waste of time. It's called humour. Try Googling it because you're right. about to Don't Google worry, something. I'll, I'll finish my point without you. Excellent. Yeah, yeah, you you do that, camera. babes. And you've already run from me. We've got on you'll camera. you finish your life without yeah, yeah, yeah. me as well. Just for camera's sake, I don't want to Right, who's number right, four? Yeah. Anyone? But yeah, That's you're why Sam should be That's funny, isn't it? He's obnoxious to but you don't want to debate me. Does anyone own this mic, number four? That's you? No? Yeah, yeah. You? No, hey, you. Yeah, it yeah, says yeah, number yeah, four yeah, on it. John, that's fine, John, that's fine. That's just a love it, G. Number four! I feel like I'm on the Umbrella John, 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 Academy. That's another mic. No. Another mic. Yeah, I know, it's one of your brothers. No, it's not another mic. Anyway, this one, I've got you. That's, that's you. That's mine. That's mine. I don't know who's more than that. Right. So you he doesn't want to debate you. He's scared. You can ask him, but he doesn't want to debate you because he's scared. Oh, how come? How come, Hamza? Because he said, I don't want to debate with obnoxious people because I'm a little fruit and gay. Is that true? I'm sorry, what? Is that true that you don't want to debate him on John 17? I don't debate obnoxious people. <laughs> okay. Is that a cop out? No, I don't debate obnoxious people. It's a principle. Can you, but can you, can you, can you beat him in, in that in that particular topic? Can yeah, you mash me up. Right. Can you, okay, okay, then well, let's do this. That's my, that's my paradox. You said you'd mash me up, though. If you, it, you if you haven't done it, you can't say. If you haven't done it, you can't claim it. I don't debate obnoxious. You cannot claim you've done it if you haven't done it. So this is how logical you are. But go, go ahead and be obnoxious for your little Darwin boys, yeah? Because you already got schooled. It is what it is. Right, okay, let's do it. Right. Right. Right, let's do a wrap up. So it is. Go back to work. You want to wrap up and then I'll just say what I have to say about this. Do you want me to? All right, do, 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 do your first wrap up and then. All right then. But what about there, John? No. Basically, I was going to discuss. Known as blood fire. No yeah. blood fire. It's, it's John O now. It's John O. Yes. And finish. Right yeah. On, what about but basically, I was going to discuss with Hamza John seventeen three. Yeah. He had a conversation with K on Salvation. He kept on throwing red herrings and accusing me of not only shaking but being aggressive and violent. All these red herrings and all these straw mans to get away from the basement John seventeen three. Now. He had, a, he had a little like TikTok thing. Like, I've heard TikTok is for teenagers. I don't know why that old man is on it. It's a bit pervy, but it is what it is. Yeah? He, was on, he was on TikTok claiming that John 73 says that the only God is the Father. Right? That's easy to debunk. If you read the verses before, who are the ones who give eternal life? It says in John 72 that Jesus says he himself has the power to give eternal life. Eternal means without end means that Jesus himself would have had to have no beginning to give eternal life. And it says in John 17, 5, right, that Jesus was with the Father before the foundation of the world. It also, it also says that in John 17, 25 as well, right? Read the Bible in, concept, in context and you don't get a one-person God like Hamza's stupid one-person God. He wants to impose on the Bible. Anywhere in John 17, 5, he wants to bring me out, I'll, I'll destroy him on that. But unfortunately, he's run away from me because he's a coward. Here's where it's. So how would, you, how would you explain to those Muslims that are wondering, that wants to have a dance on John 17, 5 as the only true God is the Father? How could you explain that to the Muslims watching right now? Okay, so let's read. I mean that only... Let me get out. So like... The Father is God or what does, what, what does that mean? Well, the verse doesn't mean that only the Father is God because the verse doesn't say only the Father is God. In fact, it, it, in fact, if you read the Greek, if you know the Greek, you should know that the verse itself doesn't even claim that the Father alone is the true God. So let's get this first in context. What? Uh, sorry. I'll try, I'll try and hurry up, but. Right, right, John, John. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so it says this. These words spake Jesus and lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify thy son, that thy son may also glorify thee. Now I want to ask you a question, Muslims. Can, can God, Allah, glorify a man? The same way as he's glorified by that man. No, it'll be shirk. Because according to Islam, associating partners with yourself is shirk. 
I, Jesus already here is committing shirk in your own religion. You can't claim we have the same religion. Now, all that we have the same God. All that the Islamic idea of Jesus is even in this book. Let's continue, right? It says this, Fabri always come, glorify thy son, that thy son also may glorify thee. As thou hast given him power over all flesh, that he should give eternal life to as many as thou hast given him. Give me what? Eternal what? Eternal life okay. to as many as thou hast given him. So God has given people eternal life and Jesus came in to do the exact same thing. No. Which wow. means he can only be God. He can't be anything else. Let's continue. Right. Now anybody who understands Greek or knows the Greek language understands that John itself was written in Greek. Historically it was written in the Greek. Right? So you shouldn't have a problem with this. It says here in John 73, and this is life eternal. Hear that Muslim? This is life eternal. That they might know thee, the only true God, and Jesus Christ. And, there's a, and Jesus Christ. Now, clear, there's a connection between the, the person of the Father and the Son. Why? Because the term used here is Kai. A Kai connects two nouns. That means the ones who are the adjective, the ones who are described here as the only true God, are the Father and the Son. Anybody who understands basic Greek knows this, but unfortunately Muslims can't understand this because they're that was illiterate. Told. Right? Already we refuted on that topic there. And I want to ask Muslim a question. Can Muhammad say this? Can Muhammad say it's eternal life to know him and Allah? No, that'd be making partners with Allah. That'd be shirk. Can he say that he gives eternal life as well as Allah? No, that would be shirk. Everything in this book is shirk according to Islam, yet they want to attack Christianity and add the Christian, the, the Islamic idea of, of, of Islam onto, sorry, my oh, brain's gone, onto the Bible. Right. Is what it is, man. One final message to those Muslims yeah. seeking the truth. Yeah. If you're yeah. seeking the yeah. truth, come to Christ. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. Without him, you'll die in your sins. Muslims, you don't have the true God. You have a counterfeit, and you have Satan, who, according to the, your own Quran, is the best of deceivers. Yes. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yes. All right. <laughs> All right, can you put that camera down? I ain't this tall. Okay. All right then. Okay, so I walked in the park. I finished my prayers, thank goodness, although you might not have seen the patient. No, I ain't hurrying up. Are you mad? I'm just following a 10 minute bobolog. Right, listen. Anyway, so what happened is I walked in and he had Billy uh, like ice in a ring of cameras. So I just gave Billy some water and he said, Kay, was Paul talking to the Jews when he said, don't keep the law? So I said, no, meaning not all the Jews, not the Pharisees, the Sadducees, the whatever, funny by the gaslighties. I don't know, not all of them, just the Jewish Christians. And so he started trying to cause dissent between me and Billy. That's embarrassing anyway. But, um, and then he just obfuscated and I gave him verses. He didn't want to look at them. He started questioning the authorship. I said, let's go with the Holy Spirit, offered it. He said he would mash that argument, never come back to it. He was talking proper street business, mash it up, annihilate. It's embarrassing. Um, I'd say he's a grown man, but he comes off like a, I don't even want to say. I feel like he needs praying for because Darren is el confused. Oh, that's my Spanish for Looney Tunes. Like he's gone. He just cannot, like he's really disingenuous and I'm not sure if he knows he's doing it. But when you give him the answer, he changes the question or does a little bit of ad time or says, I'm going to teach these Christians. Like he's just irritating and irksome, but it is very hot. So in, to answer it, any Gentiles who adopted the law of the Jews when they came into the mainly Jewish Christian congregations will be severed from Christ and he will avail them nothing, says Paul. The same Paul that he wanted to, and he said, oh no, but Hebrews, but the same thing is in Galatians 5.4, like very similar. You can't, like, you know, they will be ostracized from the covenant of Christ because they choose to try to please God by the old covenant. And that's about the size of it. He never answered why why doesn't uh, Muhammad keep the Mosaic law? He's worried about the Jews because as we all know, Jews are highly venerated within Islam just before everyone starts killing them at the end when the uh, Kaaba grows a tongue. It all seems legit to me. I don't know why you're not all taking the Shahada. I'm only joking because my brain has just needed to reboot itself. Come to Jesus, John's right, you will burn. This weather alone is enough to let me know I can't go to hell. I can't do it. I can't be visiting Darren when he's over there. I just can't. It's roasting and like there's no annihilationism. Don't listen to anyone who says you might get frazzled up in a minute. It's eternal. Look at Matthew. It's eternal. And there's eternal life in Jesus Christ. And anyone who's in him, 
the, the Old Testament is a wealth of knowledge and God's character and it's the most beautiful scripture, but you're not bound by that covenant. You are bound by the covenant of loving God with all your heart, soul and strength and loving your neighbours yourself. And in that word, the entirety of the law is encompassed and love covers a multitude of sins. So that's a touch because, you know, just, just in case. But be assured of your salvation. No one can snatch you. But you can walk away and that's contentious, but I don't care because it's Jesus. So I love you all a lot. I must do because I'm here and not in the pub. All right, lots of love. Ciao, ciao. See you later. Any questions on Christianity? Oh, any questions? Don't all rush me though, you trolls. Right, hang on a minute. I've got, sorry for the extreme close up. All right, cool. No, right, no right, questions because I explained it so well. Yeah. Oh, Jesus is the way, the truth, and, and the life. life. No yeah. one comes to the Father. Except through him. Him! Amen, amen. amen. All right. Closer. All right. Cool. <laughs> Cut! Cut.